So we have Tyler Boyd's next team betting odds. I swear you can bet on anything. You can literally bet on any freaking thing you want, no matter what it is. I love it. I love it because I think it's actually kind of hilarious. So Tyler Boyd met with the Chargers. Apparently it didn't go as well as it could because now he's going to Tennessee to meet the Titans. Right now, at this moment in time, chances are he's going to sign with the Titans. The Titans obviously have Brian Callahan. He loves Tyler Boyd. There's a connection there. You know, the receiving core for the Titans is interesting. Calvin Ridley is 29 years old. DeAndre Hopkins is 30. Tyler Boyd's going to be 30 when he starts the season off. They're just, they're just creating a retirement home when it comes to the receiving core. So, I think he's going to the Titans. But, and a lot of rumors will tell you he's going to the Titans. But according to OhioSportsBetting.com, they don't agree with that. So, this is in a weird order. I don't know why this is in this order the way it is. The field is plus 400. So, the higher the number, the lower the number the more they think it's going to happen, okay? The better chance of it going to happen. So, for example, they think the field plus 400, which means any team not listed on the chart right here, is most likely going to happen. There's a 20% chance right here that he goes to a team that is not listed on this chart right here. They think there's an 18.2% chance he goes to Lions, which I haven't really heard much rumors about the Lions. The Chargers, which he just left, was a 16.7% chance. The Chiefs is a 12.5% chance. The 49ers, 12.5%. Miami Dolphins, 9.1%. And after all the talk and waves and always oh, going to the Steelers 100%, it's guaranteed he's going back home. They are the worst odds of getting him right now at plus 1,000, which is 9.1%. And that's not surprising because I don't think he's going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think there's almost a 0% he goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The reason why I feel that way is because they don't want to pay him. He wants a one-year, $9 million contract. That's not going to be what they end up paying him. They just got Roman Wilson, who is a slot receiver. They don't need him there in Pittsburgh, so they're not going to go after him. Miami, I don't think they're going to go after him because they just signed OBJ to a one-year, $8 million deal. Like they're not, They just signed OBJ, so there's no reason why they would go after him as well. Um, 49ers... 49ers is a very logical spot. If he gets through Tennessee, which I don't think he'll get through Tennessee. I think he'll sign with Tennessee. Um, because Tennessee, they have a young quarterback. Again, like I said, they have a 30-year-old DeAndre Hopkins, 29-year-old Calvin Ridley, 30-year-old going to be Tyler Boyd. I think that works out best for them. They have a young quarterback, get some veteran receivers in there who knows how to catch the football. Calvin Ridley's an outside guy. DeAndre Hopkins is an outside guy. Get a slot guy in uh, Tyler Boyd, and I think they'll be very, very successful overall-wise. Um, 49ers makes sense if they get rid of Tyler Boyd. Or they get rid of the, um, they get rid of Debo, or they get rid of Brandon Ayuk. But the problem is, both the guys just listed are outside guys. Their slot guy in San Francisco is going to be uh, Josh... Is it Josh Jennings? No, wait... I forget what his first name is. It's Jennings. It's the guy from the Super Bowl. That's their slot guy. And then they also just drafted the receiver in the first round, which was, again, very questionable. Parcells, I believe his name is, or Parcells. Um, He's also a slot receiver. So, like, I don't think they're going to go after him because they have two slot receivers on the roster already. And then you got um, the Chargers, who, again, I think could be a good fit for him. The Chiefs. Would be a really good fit. Like, looking at this in a non-biased point of view, the Chiefs are actually not a bad option. Um, I don't want him to go there. I don't think he would go there personally. I don't think he would want to play for them. But if we're being, again, in the very non-biased option here, the Chiefs are not a bad option for him as a player to go to. Um, he would get the workload he's probably looking for. Their slot receiver spot is open. Right? Obviously, you got Hollywood Brown, who's an outside guy. You know, Rasheed Rice, who's going to be spending half the year. But other than that, 
they actually do have a very good, you know, receiving core. To a certain degree, I think they have a decent receiving core. Um, Tyler Boyd would be a good option there, but I don't want him to go there. The Lions, the Lions interest me a lot because the Sun God, um, Amon St. Brown, he's a slot receiver. So, I don't know why they would take him because he would be a backup to the Sun God, which would put him as a fourth receiver, and Boyd is not an outside guy. So, I couldn't see why that would work out at all. I just don't see how Tennessee doesn't take him. Tennessee is the most perfect spot possible for him. I mean, unless he comes back to us for league minimum, but even then, I think I think Tennessee, man. Brian's not going to let him go. There's no way. I mean, he just he fits perfect. He fits perfect with Tennessee. So I don't see why he would go anywhere else. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.